Today I'm going to be sharing some best value icons in FIFA 23 currently that you need to check out. The first of the list, as you can see, Bobby Moore World Cup. The big thing with this card is not necessarily anything special. It is the massive, massive pace increase he has had from any other version. Compared to his Prime, which is his highest rated card right now, there is a 12 pace boost on this version. And he's coming in at a whopping 170,000 coins. Honestly, you have got to try this card out. If you've managed to get a loan, if you can get him in draft, give him a go and just watch the masterpiece unfold. A very, very surprising center back in my eyes, team player, some good stats, and just an overall very, very solid center back in your team. Next up, Baggio. The, again, another World Cup card. The only two to feature in this episode of the Best Value Icon. A five-star, four-star. Again, very similar to his prime. We do see that with a lot of the World Cups. It is almost an in-form version. So he still has the 5-4 on the 93 version, but he is 110,000 coins cheaper currently as of making this video obviously 5-9 with a medium low he is right footed very very good in the center of the pitch finesse is his only trait but I think the big thing that this card offers is just that great passing the through balls are lovely if you obviously want the right chemistry style on him which I believe is going to be finisher obviously then that gets you a bit more um, agility balance which obviously goes 88-85 and you obviously already have good acceleration the finishing goes up to 99 the passing's already elite stamina not so much composure will kind of dwindle out a little bit but in general a very very solid card for 220 and now we go to a cdm Essien base, probably one of the main bases that we see in the game now. Obviously, you have got the top ones in R9, Cruyff, all of that jazz. But Essien, still absolutely fantastic as a CDM, even at this part of the game. The pace is beautiful. Defending physical is very nice. You can go with, obviously, an anchor. You can go with shadow, either or that, that kind of fits your boat. If we did go with the anchor, you get 87 pace, 90 defended, and 92 physical. Only a free free, which... It's okay. The big thing for me is the price. He's coming in at 239,000 coins. Obviously, there was an SBC for 430, which has now missed out, but you can still get the card off, obviously off the market, and he will provide very, very solid CDM work for him. Obviously, no traits in terms of stats. Again, we go with a breakdown that, yes, there is DMs in the game that is slightly better maybe coming in at a bit more of a price as well but what Essien offers in terms of this version of him is a very very solid dm position not necessarily going to be box to box heavily on that defensive only like i say with the anchor you get close to 90 pace the defending wraps up massively great physicals as always i'd say the only thing that would stop me from getting the card would be that composure but the difference between 650k extinct Prime Essien and 239, I would still probably opt for the base at the moment. Next up is finally attacking player, and it is base Eto, a four star, four star. Every version of this card is absolutely fantastic. And the big thing for this card is it's coming in at 470. Now we're getting a bit more of a price on these lower tier um, icons, obviously at a high price on his prime, but they eventually do come down, and we can have a look at this Eto. He's 470, mid is 630, World Cup is one. 1.5 and prime is 1.6 and i think the big thing for this eto he's still got 94 pace which is absolutely phenomenal he's a 4 4 5 10 obviously with finette and out, outside of the foot as the two traits in terms of chem style for this guy again you are looking at the finisher and what he just pr brings is absolutely crazy so you have the 94 pace already and this is where a high paced player really comes in handy because now we can absolutely whack on everything for a his finishing to take that to 95 get more agility balance we get 98 agility 85 balance which takes that uh, total to a 94 we've already got good stamina jumping solid composure is lovely little bit of passing mainly short game if anything and it turns him into a 91 rated striker i think for 460k that is a fantastic value for a striker we're going into a cheap cheap icon next it's going to be john barnes the mid variety of this card and the big thing that has really helped barnes this year is going to be that alternative position obviously left wing left mid still does a job i must admit he's six foot so he's relatively tall for the left wing role we have seen a cr7 in that position bale's obviously not the smallest player in the world so you can have them players that are a little bit taller i normally personally associate left wing right wing with five seven five nine 
5'11 at a push, the really rapid acceleration players. And John Barnes, by no means, is not a slow player whatsoever. But what this alternative position adds is that cam variety. And the one thing I always liked with Barnes... Agility-wise, he felt better than what the card shows. This card is coming in at 80,000 coins, so even if you gave him a go, you are very rarely going to lose much coins on it. 65.5k is the minimum price, so even if you discarded him, it's 15k at a minimum. Granted, you will be able to sell him as he's not on the floor in terms of price, so there is going to be somebody that will buy him, but the, the loss of coins is minimal for being able to try this card out. Obviously, with him, the chem style that you're going to go with is something like Architect, maybe a Shadow if you wanted more pace. You could obviously go with a Hunter as well. I don't know why Shadow would be a massive vote on there. Architect, personally, would be better for the cam roll if I can find on here. You'd get 90 passing, 91 physical, and I think that is pretty predominantly because Lenfi was the meta before and now obviously the the votings have disappeared from him so if we were to potentially try a hunter that would give him 96 pace 89 shooting meaning left wing could be very realistic for him if we wanted to go more on that dribbling side of stuff and we went with say a hawk I'd imagine if again I can find that one they're all in order you'd get no, that's physical, actually. So it might be a maestro. That's what we're looking at. 87 shooting, 86 passing, 92 dribbling. Again, you've got a few different options there. I would probably go all out for the pace, and it would give him that option of potential left wing or cam. I think the balance could do with a little bit of work, but again, I think you could go around that. Finally, a player that I own. Komen is up next. We haven't actually fully used him in this game yet in terms of the card that I've managed to get a few days ago, but we've got the 88 center back. And again, very much like Barnes, the CDM position, the alternative, is going to be the better option for him. I think defensively, he's always been solid, but the pace has always been the thing that lets him down. 77 is just not going to cut it compared to your Virgils, your Varans, your Maldinis, your, uh, well, I was thinking of other centre-backs, Varane, um, who else we got? Rudiger, Cannavaro, Desai, Blanc, the endless names of centre-backs that have got incredible pace, incredible defending, incredible physical. And the problem was, you could never move a centre-back. In-game, you obviously could, but it required then having a CDM. For instance, a lot of people loved Vieira to go from CDM to centre-back. You could swap them over. Whereas now we've obviously got that alternative position, it means we can move them before even going into game. And I think that is probably the best feature they've added this year. Very, very nice indeed. We get power free kick on him. That will be very interesting to see if that works. But in terms of chemistry style, again, anchor, shadow, I'd probably have to go full out shadow with him if you was to go in that kind of dm role gives him that little bit more of the pace boost but i think you could always argue anchor depending on how you set up in game anchor would give you 81 pace 92 defending and 89 physical you've already got a crazy amount of passing on that bottom end as you can see the curve long pass free kick accuracy good amount of short pass you can't argue in terms of composure reaction ball control again very nice he's not going to be the player that dribbles out of the defense for you but most definitely can launch a pass through ball whatever for your attacks to go through and he's coming in at a whopping 141 and now coming up to a actual center back Blanc is fantastic whatever you look at this card just ignore it and just listen to these words he is fantastic Blanc any version bar from maybe his starting card which hilariously is a cam I've never seen a cam go from an attacking forward or all the way down to a centre-back and have such an incredible career in there as well. We've obviously got this version as the mid. You've then got the World Cup and then you finally have the Prime. The World Cup and Prime are both coming in at about 320k, whereas this Blanc is coming in at 190. Again, very, very little differences between the mid and obviously the Prime. The pace is exactly the same. You get two more defending and one more physical on the Prime version. And in terms of World Cup, you do get an extra pace, which... Again, I'm not too uh, not too skimpy on. 6'4", medium high, right footed. I think this version is the best value Blanc that you can get. It is, what, 100k, pretty much cheaper than the other two versions. And they will drop eventually, which means they will come into their own right a best value icon. So we will look at that as they 
continue to drop really and we will see where this mid ends up because realistically if the primes get cheaper the mid has got to get cheaper but most definitely a fantastic center back you can get in the game you whack a shadow on him you get the 87 pace 96 defending he's 92 rated center back overall and is worth every single penny moving on to a prime and that's going to be rvp again some people don't like this card and i think i've had my woes with it i feel like when he first got introduced into the game I wasn't a massive fan. I felt like the meta of the game really just didn't suit his game style. Now we've got a different way to play. You can obviously go passing. You can do through balls if your formation is set up to it. There is crossing in the game. Again, depending on if you are making the right choices, making the right passes, there is pretty much no striker that is unavailable i've seen people score with crouch against me and if you've used that card he is utter useless so if somebody is that ability inclined to get a, a goal or i'm just defensively challenged then obviously van percy can do it as well a four star four star left footed he is coming in as one of the most expensive ones we put on this list at the moment 325k and does have alternative versions his base is 160k again very similar i'd say he's mid 113 again is looking nice but we do have more pace on the prime version but the base version does have an extra two but i think the big thing between them two is he has a minus five on shooting so again you are limiting yourselves with chem styles i think the only thing as well that is really nice with this card and i don't put him in because a he is expired so technically you can't get him is the world cup icon sbc van percy that has expired so i don't believe that card is now in the game as of yet until a re-release we have got flair outside of the foot on the traits and in terms of stats again shooting is looking fantastic pace could do with a little bit of work got good short game dribbling wise is not terrible balance is a little bit uneasy and i think that is personally where Thierry Henry always went wrong is that the balance was always the thing holding him back whereas this year the balance is definitely still important but i don't think it's personally more important than what we have seen in previous years so you can just go and be about your day with any sort of chem style with him footbin is recommending if we have a look as an engine so that does require some more um balance for him it takes it up to 76 you get a bit on that pace which is always nice a bit more passing and obviously the agility goes up also an iconic card coming up next for 321,000 coins and it's going to be prime haji and a big thing for him yet last year when they did the father and son sbc cracking touch love the icon as well as obviously his son playing for rangers if he's still playing there and this card i think is overlooked massively a four star four star and just take a look at the stats and just think of them stats with a hunter on it yes you won't necessarily get the full nine no you get 91 in fact you will get the full 90 i absolutely lie in that so the hunter will actually give you 91 pace 94 shooting left footed 5 8 great agility balance composure's coming in nice passing's lovely obviously with the shooting and pace increase you've got a 90 plus on pace shooting passing and dribbling not necessarily the most amount of stamina but in that sort of role i don't think it's that vital at this point in the game i'm not expecting him to be running up and down the pitch i would probably sum him off in the latter stages of the game but most definitely a wonderful cam that you can get flair is on the traits and i just think the stats are very very good on this card obviously he's still coming in a little bit of a price but even if you look at for instance his 89 version 125k you get 93 pace as well as shooting and 89 passing dribbling again it's a fantastic card I think the World Cup card, I want to say, did that have an increase on the weak foot or anything? We got a four star, five star. So again, a very nice upgrade there. Another one that definitely could be looked at. Probably I may have even made a mistake and the World Cup one should be here. And just like that, yes, he is. So I think in general, yeah, the World Cup one, 100%. Four star, five star. You don't get that upgrade on any other card. Obviously he has the 85 pace instead. 90 pass and 89 dribbling. So you don't technically get the dribbling up, which is absolutely fine. You at the Hunter, 93, 93 on both. Obviously already have an incredible amount of passing 
the composure's up. In fact, this card is way, way better. Just scrap that Prime Hadji, 188k, straight into this World Cup version. And finally, down to another Prime, Sadorf. 260,000 coins. This card always gets better every time he's upgraded. Obviously, the base comes in very nice. Always a high price. Now at 170, which is still relatively high for a base card, most definitely. His mid, again, sensational, 283, which is obviously coming in a bit more than the prime. And I think the main difference is, A, obviously, you get a little bit more passing on that uh, mid. But I think the prime is still a solid, solid version. And definitely for the cheaper amount of coins, a 4-star, four 4-star, four 5 9 obviously in terms of uh, traits we don't have any but you can whack a lovely chem style that is going to be a whopping hawk on him with the hawk he is going to be more box to box but most definitely needs to have a dm with him he is very much up and down the field very more attacking if you can but i would if i'm well if i'm put, personally putting him in a 442 balanced mid then i would have someone like a conte for instance in terms of defensive duties and have him the one more attacking almost like a 41212 where you've got your Cam and DM working in unison, he would be more the attack in bringing it forward, and the defensive one would be passing to him as an outlet. And most definitely, a wonderful card you can get in this game. And that's going to be the list. Let me know if you'd like to see anybody else, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace!